Hey guys. So, I'm sorry, there's a TV on in the background. That's really kind of distracting, but... Hey, it's Sunday morning, and I like watching cartoons. Wait, that's morning? 157, but whatever. It's still morning to me. Anyway, what was I? Uh, right. So, it's time for a new movie and video game review. <laughs> so, I've kind of got requests from Quentin's... Re what's up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've gotten requests from friends. Because I told them I was doing, and they were like, Oh, you know what? You should review one of the best movies of all time. And I was like, What's that? And of course, them being the immature people they are, <laughs> they said Sex Drive. And I was like, I will. And me being me, and I wasn't really like thinking about the video game part because I was more focused on the movie because my friends don't really play video games because they're girls and girls don't like video games unless they're like Angry Birds. But I don't really like Angry Birds. I mean, I play Angry Birds, but I mean, at the same time, it's just like, what's the point? It's like literally the same thing, it's just more obstacles and different birds or different, like, costumes or blah, whatever. So, the game I decided to review is an old school computer game. What is it? Freddy, Freddy Fish, The Creature of Coral Cove. Or wait, The Case of the Creature of Coral Cove. Now, see, honestly, I love Freddy Fish. I'm. I just love it. I have like <laughs> I used to have like five games, but then I lost them. And now I only have three. <laughs> so um yeah, so right. So all right, sex drive. So it starts off with this really really nerdy guy, and he's like, and you know I'm supposed to be review it basically for some reason I just like add in my opinion, but yeah, that's reviewing me, whatever. Okay yeah, so hey, so this is really nerdy guy. He's like apparently never been laid, so he goes on like. <sighs> Sorry, stuff flying around there. Um, I don't really know. What, I think it was like a, a like a meeting somebody else site, but or like I don't know. Maybe it was just something like MySpace, and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna stop this random chick and use a fake honky picture," which he did. So like this chick's all like, "Oh, well, if you come meet me, we can do it." And he's all like, "Oh yeah, sure." So anyway, he gets his friend who's really awkward and chunky and like he seems like he's a real dick, but for some reason he gets girls, and so like he came on the trip because like those guys are, like best friends. And then their girl best friend, or at least girl good friend, who's like, you know, the third. Now, you know, all movies need three amigos doing something. I mean, the, um, what's called The Hangover. That's a Raven. I mean, it's not really a movie, but it's still a show. I mean, like, you know, there's just a whole list where you can find three people. I mean, yeah, sure, there's two maybe every once in a while, but I mean, normally it's going to be three. For like some love triangle drama. Anyway, what was I right? So yeah, him like the three go off and they're like, but he tells the girl because he doesn't want her to like lose respect for him. So he tells her he's like, oh, we're gonna go visit my grandma in Utah, but like, wait, Utah? I don't know, like whatever they're where they are, they're traveling from like they live here and they're going all the way across the country over here. So wherever this is, that's where they're going. When anyway, yeah, they go there. I mean, it's kind of. It's, uh, it's okay. I mean, they do like make some stops along the way. Like one time they stopped in a, I don't even know if they stopped in the trailer park, but it's by a cornfield or something like that. Trailer park? I don't know. They stopped somewhere where there was a trailer home, and the big guy ended up doing the the gar. Okay, so <laughs> the trailer home that they were at. There's like the big scary father and like the little hot daughter apparently. Anyway, the big guy ends up doing the hot daughter, and then the big guy ends up like having this gigantic like truck thing that like plows corn but it looks really scary, you know, those things. And um he ends up chasing them and then they eventually like you know, they make it back to the road but and they end up just like driving away really fast. But they run out of gas. And next thing you know there's this hitchhiker who comes along and like, you know, they have a little bop banter back and forth. And they're like, Oh wait, we need to pee <laughs> we need to pee in the thing of the you know what's that called, like the fuel tank or something like that. I don't know, whatever's in the front thing whatever. You know, they ended up peeing in the car, and it was kind of funny. There's, like, funny stuff happened, and the hobo tried to chase them once they were driving away, and it was just pretty funny. And then, of course, Seth Green comes along. He's an Amish guy, and he's in his... He's him, so he's going to be a sarcastic character. So he comes in, and he's all like, Oh, would you need some help there? And, he, and the fat guy's all, like, being his douchebag self, like, <laughs> I don't think you'd know anything about this. And he's like, oh, I wouldn't know anything about, you know, car term, car term, car term, car term. 
a sassy comment car term. And then he starts, like, using his horse and going away. And then the guy's like, oh, wait, 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 buddy, wait. And then it shows the chick and the dude walking, and then they, like, tie their shoes together and, like, throw it. I don't know, she, the girl ties her shoes together and, like, throws them on a tree that has, like, a bunch of shoes hanging down. And then he's like, you're so stupid, your feet are gonna hurt. And she's like, whatever. And yeah, it ends up being really funny. Um, I know they go to a carnival, I'm not sure if this was after it, but... No, I think they go to the Amish village first, and then they go to Rockshimmer or something like that. Rumspringer. Rumspringer. Rumspringer? I'm not sure. And then they end up partying and stuff. And their car gets fixed. I mean, there's a bunch of little funny things in the middle and stuff. Alright, the fat guy meets an Amish girl, but he, like, falls in love with... Um, then I think this is when they go to the carnival, and, like... Uh, the chick, the guy buys flip flops for the chick. Um, the guy like meets this cute little like skinny chick that's like a Christian, but he doesn't know it yet. And she's like, "Oh, you should visit our show." And he's like, "Oh, it's gonna be so cool." So like, they all go to the show, and it ends up being like a um a I don't really know how to call, what to call it, but it's like a bunch of Christians trying to get like nerds up on stage and like make them take a purity ring pledge so he was really embarrassed and it was kind of, it was, <laughs> that was actually really funny and then anyway uh... they keep going uh... they ended up making it to the to the motel where the chick was supposed to be but the chick ended up like wanting to rob rob them or something and she stole their car and but i don't know point is the guy the nerdy guy ended up in a giant donut costume with a gun and he was like give me the give me the effing car brother. And so, it was interesting. I mean, the movie itself was, I mean, funny. I mean, there were some parts in there that were really stupid, but, um, it was pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Um, but, I mean, there were, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, you know when you're, like, you watch a movie and you think, oh, they could have done something better? Like, that's what I thought, like, every other scene in that movie. Like, something better could have happened. But, I mean, it was a pretty funny movie. I mean, the actors were all kind of... I mean, they were all dedicated to their roles, but, I mean, I feel like they were pushing the limits a little bit. Pushing the limits, no. Well, I mean, like, the big fat guy was kind of, like, really bad. Like, as in, like, that shouldn't happen on TV. And then Seth Green was, I mean, Seth Green doesn't anything for money, let's be honest. He does any roles. But, I mean, he was still kind of funny, but at the same time, it's like, oh, Seth Green? Ha 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 ha. He's not that funny anymore. we already seen him on Family Guy and, and the, what's called, Robot Chicken. And, <gasps> there's few episodes of that 70s show. Come on now, he's old. How old is he, anyway? Like, he's been doing so many, mo like, shows for a while and stuff, and... Alright, anyway, and the video game. Well, like I said, computer game. Ready fish the case of actually I'm about to play this right after this video. But anyway, yeah. So this. Um if you didn't know this is Freddy, this is Luther. Here Freddy's a girl, by the way. I don't know. And yeah, Luther's Luther's like her little sidekick. Yeah. So anyway, Freddy and Luther always go on adventures and adventures. Anyway, Freddy and Luther, like, they always, they're, like, always going, like, I mean, I guess they do go on adventures, but they're more of, like, solving cases, but it is an adventure, because they go a lot of places, but, anyway, um, okay, I'll read you the back. There's more to this case than the eye, than meets the eye. Join Freddy Fish and her best friend, Luther, for the grand opening of the beautiful Coral Cove Park, and that's kind of, like, an amusement park, or, I don't know, like, the back makes it look really pretty, see, look. So that one, yeah, it's just one here. See, like, kind of looks like a, 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 like, a big, like, adventure park thing, but I mean, really, once you go in there, it's, all it is is, like, a park, like, in, like, a normal park, like, a central park for fish. Anyway, I, but, oh, wait, where was I? Oh, the ground of a beautiful coral cove park, but wait! <laughs> a mysterious sea creature has been seen lurking inside. If the park is to open on time, you have to help Freddy and Luther find the clues, solve the puzzles, get to the bottom of this watery predicament. But anyway, yeah, so starts off with Freddy going to visit her um grandma and then, and then they swim away. Like, bye grandma And then but then they see a ride in her and um there's like the mayor who where's the mayor? Where is he? That guy right there. 
and then people like that officer and a bunch of other fish are sitting there like rallying and stuff but um really I mean it's a, it's a it's an okay game I mean I can play it because I have a low attention span and I mean that's a really short game if you actually like do it right I mean all Freddy Fish games are fun but I mean at the same time it's for ages um early childhood probably an age group but you know what I mean early, it says early childhood but I mean I don't care I'm a kid, I like the games like that. Like, I remember that game, there was those two twins. Ready Fish. <laughs> so yeah, the Coral Code game. So, you basically end up, um, having to go and find a bunch of, like, um, like, things, like, many things on the way. Like, first you have to go get, you want to go inspect Coral Cove Park, but you need the mayor's, um, like, it's, you know, a little paper that says, that gives you, like, the permission to do it. A permit? Is that what it's called? Permit? Yeah. Anyway, you end up, going to get a, the, the barbers in the shop with him, you know, you get a, a comb so we can finish the guy, the mayor, and then the mayor signs it for you. You have to go in Coral Cove Park, um, uh, <laughs> you find, like, a bunch of, like, purple sea urchins, and, like, those are, like, money, and I don't know why money's always laying around, like, every other scene, but, um, yeah, so, you got purple sea urchins, you buy stuff that could help you with like any predicaments underwater predicaments anyway um mm, oh my god I just raised my eyebrow <gasps> I've never been able to raise my eyebrow or or wink wait wait I got this I feel like my face is uneven like where are we all right Wait, oh, I wasn't trying to wink, but yeah. See, look, this is how I wink. Like, most people, it's just like... And then I'm just like... <laughs> but eyebrow, ready? Go. <laughs> okay, mm, pretty fish. So, yeah, you're going, like, finding all these things, like, you're finding a wrench to help fix something, you're finding glasses so this one guy can see and then he'll give you a map. And it's a, man, it's a pretty entertaining game, it'll probably, it takes me like 20 minutes. I mean, no, don't say that's long either, but like, cause like, you have to wait through all the dialogue and you have to like, let the scenes take place, you can't, I mean, you can skip through those, but what's the point? It's very fish, that's awesome. Plus, you get sidetracked by playing a bunch of mini games, which I do, because <laughs> they have mini games in the game, and I'm just like, mini game, mini game, mini game. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So, Freddy Fish is an okay game, especially if you're a younger child, and because it keeps you distracted. And I mean, it's kind of supposed to be like an educational game, but I mean, I guess it is. So, Freddy Fish, good game. Um, what, what was the movie? Oh, Sex Drive. Sex Drive. Uh, you should be old, at least. At least a teenager watching that. Um, it was an okay movie. I say out of five stars, it's probably like two, maybe like a two and a half. But yeah, okay, good. Sex drive. Freddy Fish. <sighs> okay, bye. Maybe next week I'll do another Freddy Fish game. Uh, but hey, I have a bunch of video games that I never. Video games. What I what I choose? Deer hunt. You can't really read that. Deer hunt. How good of how good a hunter are you? Deer hunt challenge. Yeah, I've never played that because it always freezes my computer. But um, <laughs> cabbage patch kids. Wow, this game never worked to begin with. I don't know what I was doing when I was five. Hmm. Uh, what is this? Another pretty fish game? Oh, it's a Blue's Clues game. Oh my god, this game was actually really fun. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so yeah. Freddy Fish, Coral Cove. Pretty good game. Um, Sex Drive. Okay, movie. Bye!